Hello everyone, and today we are going over the Minecraft color codes. If you're like me, you just like pretty colors. Most people out there do. And one of the fun ways to enhance your Minecraft gameplay is to add the ability to use the color codes in the game. There is a way to do it in vanilla, but with just a little bit of file tweaking and plugin addition, we can make it much easier. Minecraft color and formatting codes. To begin understanding the color coding, you also need to understand the formatting of it. So when you're typing in your commands, you need to be able to understand how it works. What do you see here on screen is the different ways that you can change your text. Whether it's through different types of colors or italic and bold or other things of that nature, here is all of the codes you'll need, whether you're doing it in chat, in the message of the day, or in anything else. Now, how do we use it? How to use Minecraft color code. The first way, and the easiest way, without having to do any plugins at least, is to just do the slash tell raw command. If you follow along with this exact thing, then you'll type in hello there, just like that. We'll get back to that in a bit. Right now, let's learn how to change the message of the day command. The first thing you wanna do is head to your general settings in your panel and look up the message of the day command. From here is where you're going to type in the color code that you want for your message of the day and the code right after that. Once you're done with that, just hit the green save changes button. And once the settings have been saved, you wanna head back to your dashboard to restart the server to make sure that those changes get fixed. And then as you join the server, you'll see the change. Using Minecraft plugin. If you do want to go the plugin route, the first thing you need to do is stop your server once more and make sure it's running the Minecraft bucket version. From here, linked in the description, you'll go to the Essentials X page and download Essentials X, Chat, and Spawn. Technically only Essentials X is required, but all three of them are very helpful. Once you've done the download part, then you're gonna head back to your panel and make sure it's stopped and go to the file browser under tools. From here, you'll take the path Minecraft bucket. Then you're going to take the plugins folder then you're going to click the green upload file button. Go ahead and upload those downloads that you just grabbed and all three of them at a time will be just fine. After just a few moments, you'll see that the files go into the uploaded section and what you wanna do from here is make sure that they're actually properly uploaded. So head back to your dashboard and restart your server. Now, unfortunately, we do have to stop the server once more but this is a precaution to make sure that things get installed properly. Once you're done, go back to the plugins folder then you go into the Essentials folder. This is the new folder that started when we restarted the game. Under the config.yml file, you want to scroll down to about 329. The one that you want to worry about is 331 and just switch the true to false. That's all you need to do. Conclusion. Doing all of these things will allow you and your friends to be able to use color code in chat very easily. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, ring that notification bell so that way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh. <laughs>